Hi, today we'll use Java to solve a game called Aristotle's Puzzle. It's shown here, it's one of the solutions with different tiles 1 through 19, and you need to make it so that each line, the sum equals 38. 14, 6, 1, 17, that should be 38. 15, 13, 10, that's 38. 10, 12, 16, that's also 38. Okay, first we'll get the different lines that must equal the same number, in this case 38. So we can have private int two-dimensional array sums tiles. And for the indices, um, here's another hexagon with the indices numbered, so starting at zero. So we'll need indices 0, 1, and 2, that sum to be 38. So let's type that 0, 1, and 2. We'll need indices 3, 4, 5, and 6 to be 38. And lastly, uh, 7, 12, and 16, those added together should equal 38. So we can have an int array for each of the tiles. So it'll be length 19. We can have a Boolean array is used to indicate if a certain number has been used. Next, we can get the number of solutions. And we'll call a new method solve with tiles is used and zero, position zero. And lastly, we'll print out the number of solutions. So if the position is greater than or equal to the tiles.length, then we know that we're done. Let's just print out the solution. And we'll return one, meaning we found one solution. Next, we'll have a variable do the math only one time to save a little bit of processing time. So position plus one. And if the current tile indicated uh, with index position is already filled out, then we can just skip this and proceed to the next one. So we'll return solve tiles is used position plus one. Otherwise, we need to try different values for this tile and see which one can work. So we'll have number solutions set it to zero and return it at the end. So we'll have a for loop. We can have numbers between 1 and 19 is the possible values for this tile at position indicated by the argument. So i is um, from 1 all the way through is used up length, which would make it a uh, 1 through 19, including 19. So if it's not used yet, then we'll set it as this number. We'll set is used equal to true. So what we can do is if we set this one and there's only one empty remaining then that means that we can do it by just taking 38 minus the others and that should give us the remaining so suppose index 0 is 3 index 1 is 17 then that means index 2 must be 38 minus 17 minus 3 is 18 so we can have a list 
of integer, we'll call it filled positions, and we'll do fill nodes, we'll call that with tiles and is used. If filled positions is not equal to null, then we'll add to the number of solutions. We'll just make a recursive call, solve tiles is used position plus one, and then we'll unfill the nodes. So that'll have tiles is used and the filled positions. Lastly, we'll set is used index i to false. And then after we've gone through trying each of the numbers for this tile position uh, indicated by the argument, we'll go ahead and set reset it to value equals zero so that we can try other permutations. Unfill knowns, we can go ahead and write that first. So this will be pretty straightforward. We'll just iterate over the positions and we'll set is used and then we'll get the number value at the this tile and set is used as false and then we'll set the tile at this position reset it to value equals zero. So the last thing we need to make is fill knowns. So for this we'll be checking if in any of the lines, any and all of the lines, if there's only one empty cell, then we'll do math to calculate what it should be and verify that it's uh, one, that it's a valid number, it's not like negative or something, and two, that it's not already been used, that number. So we'll have a list type integer and Filled positions, we'll call it. It will be new array list. So we'll have for int sum tiles and sums tiles, and we'll return the filled positions here at the end. So we'll have a num empty started at zero. And we'll do int position within the sum tiles if tiles in that position is zero, then num empty will increment. And if we've already found one, so if num empty is greater than one, so we found one and now we found another, then that means we won't be able to fill in any for this sum line. So if num empty greater than one, we'll just continue to the next uh, sum tiles. Otherwise, we if we get through here and num empty is equal to one, then that means we can do math to solve for it. So we'll have sum is zero, empty index, we'll just set it as negative one for now. And we'll do something similar to this loop. So for each of the positions, we'll add to the sum so tiles position, if it's equal to zero, then that means we found the empty index. So empty index is equal to position. So now we have the sum. So we can get the value for empty index. We'll name this n. It's equal to 38 minus the sum. 
and if n is greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 19, so that it's a valid number and it's not used yet, then that means we can use it, it's valid. So we'll set it here. Set is used and is true. And we'll add it to the filled positions. So empty index. Uh, otherwise, with the current board setup, it's impossible to solve. Put a comment here, impossible. And we'll unfill any knowns that we have. So tiles is used, fills positions. And we'll return null because it's impossible. So now back up here, when we do filled positions, fill knowns, if it comes here and it's equal to null, that means it's an impossible position. We'll just skip it. Okay, let's try running that. Okay, so it came up with the 12 solutions in uh, less than a second. Hopefully you learned something. Thanks for watching.